Ahoy, shipmates! We normally start here in Port Southampton, but instead today we're heading down Southampton Water to the Solent, this body of water here between the lands of the mainland and the Isle of Wight. For the Bram Bank Cricket Match 2023. Very early start this morning. Headed off from the marine at five o'clock. Look at the one, look at that one advantage we get. So we can see the cruise ships coming in. I think that was one ship, and this I think is another cruise ship. And we have excellently calm conditions, but uh, Captain Marty there was worried about the wake of the ship. It was rather unsettling. So we got to the Solent and uh, couldn't see the Bramble Bank yet. A lot of ribs arriving, and all of a sudden. The bank emerged from the water, and it's like IKEA on Boxing Day. Queues everywhere, and nowhere to park. So I had to skirt around all these ribs that were parked up. The chap behind is trying to find somewhere to park as well. The bank is slowly emerging from the water. You can't see it uh, until it basically just comes out of the water. A bit of a surprise. We know we know roughly where it is. There's a quite a large area to avoid, so we try to avoid the entire area. But where it is exactly does change because it's a bit of a bank. The RNLI are here, there's three of them here. Just in case, I think they like a good day out. So here is the cricket. <laughs> Slightly challenging conditions there in the outfield. Not the flattest of pitches. Lovely sunrise this morning though. Very calm. You can really feel that heat. The water was very warm. Surprised. Uh, what I did discover though was free rum. The King and Queen pub in Hamble was handing out free rum. Captains never want to turn down a free rum. Especially at uh, six thirty in the morning. Absolutely fantastic. I do recommend the King and Queen pub in Hamble. There you go, there's their flag. And they were supplying free rum. Greatly appreciated. Certainly, I would say it certainly warms me up, but it, uh, it wasn't that cold anyway, really. Sun is starting to rise. The quick cricket is between the two teams, the Isle of. I think it was the Island Cricket Island Yacht Club and the County Yacht Club. As you can see, it's quite busy. Lots of ribs here. hasn't uh, hasn't happened for a couple of years. Actually, three years. Uh, two years for lockdown, and then last year, uh, Queen Elizabeth. I think her funeral was about the same time, or it was just after, or just before, something like that. Anyway, it was abandoned for that year as well. So I'd say this is the biggest attendance I've seen for quite some time. Lots and lots of ribs. Seem to be they seem to be the preferred way. Most people seem to come from cows as well, not many from the mainland. It seems to be more of a Isle of Wight tradition. You see a few boats disappeared up to the Hamble and up, uh, up Southampton Water, but I think mainly seem to be people from cows. Cows is just over there in the distance, not very far far away. We were quite some distance by comparison. Look at that, see great selection of boats here. There's even a sailboat here. I hope his uh, pointy keely thing is uh, pulled up, digging into the sand. <laughs> All sorts of people who have children, families, even dogs. And they were keeping score, although I, my understanding is that they decide who wins the match beforehand. It's all a bit arbitrary really, but it's jolly good fun. It raises money for charity. I think we've got, we've got uh, time for two innings. 
Sun is rising, Captain Marty's getting some photos in. There we go. The water is starting to come back in. I think that's just about rounded off the game. I'm not sure who won, but I think it's really important. And yes, these waters are coming back in quite quickly. So that's it, you get about an hour of play on Bramble Bank. Happens once a year in the middle of the summer. Well, hope you like that one, shipmates. Until next time.